All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm really excited to talk about the Apple Vision Pro and talk about the multitasking capabilities of this thing and the widget capability of what some of these people are making and kind of give you a glimpse into the future of, that, of this AR stuff that we've been talking about for so long, where you basically come into your house and there's digital objects everywhere that you think are there but are not really there. And we're actually a lot closer to that reality now with the Apple Vision Pro than we ever were before. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the widgets that I've been using around the home and stuff like that and talk about some of the ways that this can improve in future versions of the Vision Pro because we're not fully there yet and there's one big reason for that which we'll talk about in this video but what is here is already pretty cool and I wanted to show it to you guys so let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech is we're here in my living room and I want to show you guys the power of the Vision Pro and everything that I have going on right now. Just to show you guys uh, the true power of the multitasking on this thing and just what you can do when you start getting a little crazy. And this thing is only going to get better as things go on and I'll talk about why at the end of this video. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys what we have going on and why what this thing is doing in front of me now. First of all, this is a app that just came out called television and you obviously you can see it is a television that it looks like it's on my floor uh and these things are all interactable so i got a tv here that looks like one of those old school tvs and if i click on it and hit the bottom i can play any of my media if i go ahead and look at that i can look at my media but look at that it looks like a tv in front of me i can be sitting here that looks freaking awesome and again, you can select your own media and stuff like that. So you got a real TV and they have like 18 different models of different TVs in here that you can kind of manipulate and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, so you can play whatever, uh, right now it's just videos that you have on your Vision Pro, but they're looking to add YouTube and stuff like that. But I swear this TV looks like it's in front of me, even if I, as I get up close to it, like this TV just looks like it's there. And it even has like hand occlusion and stuff. It's just crazy. Like. It has the shadows. You can see the glass on it. The video looks good in there. Anyway, that's the TV. Then over here, uh, another interactable widget. I can put whatever albums I want from any music I'm listening to. So I chose these two, Tate McRae and Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, and I can just kind of come up here. I can see what albums I'm doing. And I can just kind of scroll. And boom, I can play any song that I want. I'm not going to do that for copyright reasons right now. But you get the idea. I can play whatever I want just by pulling the album. And I can see the album artwork anytime I want. And they're just hanging here on my wall. Then right here, we got another TV. Look at this old school TV we have right here. And this one even lets you play spatial videos on it. So when I hit play on here, this looks like I'm literally like, it looks like this is coming out, like coming off the TV. It's really cool. Like you would think that it's not cool to do this uh, because it's, it's on like a old school TV and stuff, but it is really cool to see these in your house and just see how realistic they actually look uh, when you're looking at this. Then over here next to my door, I have a widget, a little widget sitting right here. As if, if I was about to walk out of the house and I was leaving for the day, right before I open my front door, I can see the weather. I can see it's raining right now. I can see the temperature. I can see the time. I can see any upcoming events that I should be aware of for the day that are coming up or any upcoming reminders, which is really cool. Then right here, this being like a movie room and stuff, I threw a poster up here and this poster automatically changes every single time that I have, uh, th that the number one movie kind of updates off of IMDb. It kind of just rotates the poster and uh, puts whatever the number one is, which is super cool. So that's this room, but we're obviously just getting started. So coming into our kitchen here, boom, now we're in the kitchen. What do we have going on? We got our recipes. If we're ready to cook, you come into this room and now you have your recipes that you can pull up. You can take a look at it. All of these are interactable and ready to go. There's no lag. Look at all these widgets that we have going on. We have YouTube right here. I can go ahead and start any video that I want to play while I'm cooking, while I'm looking at this recipe and stuff like that. But wait, wait. But here we are with Battleship sitting right here in my, you know, my dining room and stuff. And I could literally come over here and sit down and it looks like I have a board game in front of me. And I could literally start tapping on these squares and stuff like that to try and see where my opponent is. You can see all the effects that happen. Boom, he's trying to shoot at me. Literally playing Battleship right now. And it looks like this is on my table. I feel like I can touch it. Even though I can't, the, the resolution on this is so high that it looks like you can touch this stuff. And you're literally sitting here playing Battleship right on your table. And you feel like this is actually on your table. And then moving back over here, we can go into my office right now. 
Uh, we got some other things to talk about. And I forgot about these pictures here. I got some pictures of myself that I hung on the wall. So you could add whatever photo frames and stuff that you want, which is pretty cool, uh, as you can see there. But then when you come into my office, I'm chilling here in my office. I got some social media stuff open. I got, you know, my calendar open right in front of me, as you would expect to have it in an office. I got Instagram that I can kind of scroll through and stuff like that anytime I want, sitting right here. And then if I look to the right, I got my TikTok ready to go right here that I can go ahead and play and pause if I want to, as you can see. Uh, and you can look at the comments right from here and all that kinds of stuff, which is really cool. And then the next room that I would go in, uh, let's say, for example, and, and this poster that I talked about before, as you can see, when you don't have it fully out there, if you actually touch it, you can pull up the trailer and the IMDb info and where it's actually being streamed right off of here. Uh, you know, without actually doing anything, which is super cool that you can get the trailer right from that poster. Uh, but then you come into this room, you got like a news ticker and stuff like that, which is super cool. So if I had this news ticker and I pulled up one of the things that it was talking about, I could actually get right to Safari on what that story is talking about. I can scroll through and look at entertainment. And this app that is right here is really cool. My TV is right there. And let's say I wanted to see what series I'm keeping track of. It lets you keep track of all these different series. Like I have three that I put it in right now. And it's letting me know Love is Blind, which I love that show, uh, has episode 10 coming out this week. And you can keep track of all the shows. It lets you know what you've watched before, what you're actually watching right now to keep track of when new episodes are coming out. Same thing with games. It lets you know when they're about to release. You can keep things on your wish list. You can see your backlog and stuff like that. So it's really cool to have this app right here. Uh, you know, if I'm about to watch something and be like hey what am i what new shows or episodes released and what am i what's actually on my backlog and stuff so that's a cool application as well but yeah there's a lot of stuff uh, as you guys just saw i'm really impressed with just the quality of the fact of how things are still working really well even though i have all these widgets around my house uh even if i hit play here boom show video you can Shut see it starts playing just like that there's no lag or anything like that when I go up to these windows. You can see it's even tracking. Look at the fact that it's tracking my eyes all the way down there to these little buttons. And I can literally hit from all the way over here. You guys see how far that is? Uh, it's really, really cool stuff. Um, I just pulled up the keyboard by accident. But um, it, it's it's really cool. But there's obviously a couple of improvements that they need to do. Obviously, the fact that the walls aren't including anything. Sometimes when you're sitting here, obviously, you see the widgets from every room. Obviously, the ideal scenario would be I only want what's in this room to be shown until I walk into the other room and then open that up. But they could fix that with, I don't know about occluding your wall. That's probably something that is a little bit far out in my opinion. But what they could do is, uh, my next uh, only complaint about this thing is the fact that if I reboot this headset, everything is gone. I have to reset this all back up again. And none of these are gonna be in place anymore. None of these are gonna be open. They're not saved in any way. So that obviously doesn't make this as fun to set up every single time, but that could be easily solved because they already have stuff like focus modes on the iPhone where you can set up like work mode and game mode. Imagine coming into here and be like, hey, this is, uh, you know, my game or my movie room setup and you pull up a giant TV and your music goes on the wall and stuff like that. Then when you go in your, your kitchen, you're like, hey, this is cooking mode and you put that focus mode on and your widgets go exactly where they're supposed to go, where YouTube opens up, where your TV, your, your recipe opens up over there. You go into your office and you're like, hey, office mode and widgets open up for that so not only does that fix the issue of rebooting because then you have your focus mode saved with the widgets exactly placed in the room that you want if it recognizes that room but it also saves the fact that like i have everything set up in here because during reboots it's going to lose everything but if the focus modes were really easy to activate then i would just be in this room activate focus mode everything goes in there that I want it to. And then instead of having all these other widgets open where it's not occluding the wall, I could just come in here and be like, hey, the focus mode, uh, you know, turn off for cooking and it boom, opens up these apps that I need. And then, you know, when they close, when I'm done, I can close them. And then I can go into this room and go back to the focus mode for media. And boom, everything opens the way it should. So that kind of alleviates both of those issues if they do that. And I think that's a lot more feasible with today's standards. I think that's actually something they could do in Vision OS 2.0 for sure, which I'm definitely excited about. And hopefully that's something that they do do because uh, it's something a lot of people are clamoring for and make customizing your home so much better. And it would make this a lot more fun. Uh, if they do those focus modes, but we'll see what, how, what happens. And I'm definitely looking forward to WWDC for the first time in a long time. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, showing the cool stuff that you can already do today. There's new apps coming out all the time that changed what I would do in this video. This app was only came out today. Uh, this app came out a couple days ago. The poster one came out a couple days ago. So new apps every day. So I integrate things differently every day. So if you guys want to see future videos like this, where I may update this and be like, hey, this is now what I do in, uh, you know, in a month from now because new apps have come out make sure you subscribe and stay tuned but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as always guys thank you guys for watching till next time